on. Senator Kangata, thanks for staying with us patiently. What next for uh, you? Uh, uh, that determination will be made very soon. Maybe the next uh, three weeks I'll be having uh, a, a small gathering in my home in Moranga and I will make a major pronouncement as to the next uh, cause of action. You don't want to give us a hint. Your, your constituents in Moranga are watching tonight. I'm sure they are keenly following. You don't give them a preview or a prelude to that announcement, what it may entail. Could you, for example, be looking to decamp to Tanga Tanga faction of Jubilee? The first is not about me. It's about the one inch. I strongly believe leaders' uh, role in politics is about echoing what the people are saying. So I need to talk with my people. Uh, they give me a political direction. And then I echo their views. And I think that's what I was doing even with my letter. Okay. And uh, secondly, let me respond a little bit to some of those issues that have been raised. Uh, Murukomen is my personal friend. In fact, in the entire Senate, I do not have a bosom friend who maybe can supersede the relationship that I have with Murukomen. Why? We were in college together uh, for the four years I was at the University of Nairobi. Uh, he was one class behind me. So we became very good friends. He was a politician. He was our chairman of Kenya Law Student Society. I was the vice chairman at one moment. Eh? And uh, when this problem started to, em to emanate in Senate, we had a discussion with him. And I told him, yes, I may agree as to the ultimate direction, uh, as to where we may end up. But I strongly believe, uh, let us assist President Uru Kenyatta to complete his term and to visualize his dream. Uh, so for me, I held that view, and which is still my view. Okay. But, but in a way also, uh, Murkomen warned me when we had that discussion. He told me, I doubt as to whether you will get the freedom to express yourself. I doubted him then, but with the benefit of the hindsight, I think he was right. Because for me, I never thought by joining and supporting the government, that meant that I don't have my freedom to, uh, to, to express myself and to freely raise issues. I was, I was going to say on a side note that I, I'm, <coughs> I'm glad to hear you and Murko Men are friends, that you go way back. Some today questioned, at, uh, and today you did look like bosom friends as, as, as uh, you are giving that press briefing. Do we have that Murko Men tweet? I'm sure you've read it, Senator. And we're, we're putting it up now. And this is something he said about a year, a, a few months ago. Uh, we're putting that up. He said, Muranga people left a solid negotiator. Senator Kembi elected, I don't want to say that word, Kolkangata, who can't convince anyone. He should know I'm not one of those BBI boys to be blackmailed. Uh, how did Jubilee replace Senator Kahika? And he went on, Rift Valley would gain, and yes, we are for equity, Utadu. Yeah, I think uh, we had. Uh, Utadu? Uh, Go ahead. What was happening then? Because today the camaraderie looked very strong, but then he was very angry with you. Yeah, I remember we, we, we were on the opposing side during the revenue sharing debate, you recall. Uh, he was uh, supporting the so-called Team Kenya. I was pushing for the so-called one man, one shilling, one vote, which I still maintain that uh, the people of Mount Kenya region, they don't get their due share when it's come to revenue sharing in, in county revenue. But him, he held a, a slightly different view. So in that struggle, that's when he did that tweet. So we are friends. We remain very bosom friend. Uh, he has never failed to attend any of my social events in Moranga. Uh, but uh, at times we do have uh, a little bit of uh, ideological differences. Okay. Particularly on that issue concerning revenue sharing. Uh, but that does not mean that uh, uh, we, are, we, we don't agree on certain areas, particularly on political matters. Uh, let me ask you one more before we bring in uh, Honorable Kioni. The issue of the political philosophy of our political class. We have an Irungu Kangata who last year was very pro-Jubilee, very pro-party leader, pro-constitution. Now you say you're pro-people. And if, if, if Murkomen was here, I would ask him the same question. Don't you feel, Senator Kangata, that you confuse even your constituents, those who follow you, when a couple of months back you hold one view, a couple of months later you hold a different view? Tonight, what is your political philosophy? 
I disagree with you that uh, I've really changed my political philosophy or even my respect to His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta. I still maintain that uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta is not my competitor. I have no reason as to why I would abuse him or disagree with him. President Uhuru Kenyatta will not be on the ballot in the year 2022. So therefore, my preferred presidential candidate in 2022 will not compete with His, His Excellency President Uhuru. So therefore, in a way, uh, from where I see it, uh, there's no way I can undermine President Uhuru Kenyatta. Who is your and preferred the, presidential candidate in 2022? Yeah, for me, I belong to the school of thought what President Uhuru Kenyatta told us about, was it two or three years ago? Do you mind Yangu repeating Kumi? it for us who may have a short memory? No, no, no. He said, Yangu Kumi, Yaruto Kumi. Okay. Yeah, so me, I belong to that school of thought. Because, uh, in fact, I, I think he even said he has never reneged on that uh, public declaration. So uh, I still believe supporting Ruto is also uh, showing respect to the direction which President told us, those of us who come from that region. So for me, but on the other hand, President Uhuru Kenyatta will be not be on the ballot in 2022. So therefore, uh, it makes sense for us to support him to uh, finalize his term. Uh, we need to respect him. He's our president. Mm -hmm. He's a symbol of the national unity. Uh, the only slight maybe problem that which appears to have arisen for the last few days or months is that idea that uh, it seems the party is not giving us the opportunity to express ourselves. I strongly believe the right to the freedom of expression is embedded in the Constitution. Okay. People fought and they lost their lives pursuing that right. Okay. And, and, and I'll, I'll engage you a bit more on that, but let me bring in Honorable Kioni before we take that first break. Honorable Kioni, I have a lot to ask you, but I'm sure you've had a listen to what uh, the good senator has uh, spoken about uh, today here in studio. I can give you a chance to respond to his de-whipping and his feeling that there is no democracy in the party, people cannot express their views, and when they do, there are consequences. What do you make of that? Um, and thank you for having me. I've been waiting here for a while. Uh, I really don't want to respond to Senator Kangata's view uh, because he's really been talking about his personal uh, thinking, his personal approach to issues and uh, uh, what happened to him today. Uh, but I think what is uh, crucial to me is that uh, the style of leadership uh, Fadis, and I see like uh, his is quite different from what I I think myself. I I don't echo what people tell me. I listen to them and I offer leadership because they elected me as a leader. So I choose to read and not just to become a leader. I wouldn't uh, uh, watch my data reading in public, even as a party. Uh, I would choose to um, talk to my uh, boss, and especially if given a responsibility similar to what he was given, I wouldn't even bother writing a letter, whether it was to go to the president privately or otherwise. But um, again, I'm not saying that he didn't. He did. Uh, um, he did something that is uh, very, according to him, he says it's not anything wrong. According to me, I would have used a different uh, uh, style. Um, crucially, it is important to be consistent uh, with the kind of uh, um, records that we have. We will be able to find quickly find out whether one is consistent or there is a little uh, bit or a lot of flip flopping. Uh -huh. um, and I am saying this not. I really don't want to answer Kangata. He has answered himself. Okay. Of, uh, you have asked him many questions, and I believe that uh, the viewers uh, have decided, have listened. Tell me this. Made their own decision. Tell me then this briefly before we, we do take that break. So what does this then mean for the future of the Jubilee Party again? And this is a conversation we've been having for the last couple of months. We saw Jubilee Purge 1.0 last year that, you know, took in its path people like Senator Murkomen, and Senator Kihika. Now we are seeing a sort of a Jubilee Purge again 2.0. And some like Murkomen today said those who have been purged are now in the majority, and those left in the party are in the minority. What does the future look like for your party? Honorable Kioni. One of the things that is clear is that we have one and a half years or so to speak to deliver on the promises that were made to Kenyans. It is very crucial that we have the people who have a belief in one thing and are committed to delivering on those promises. 
uh, if um, we, those who think that we should be engaging on other issues uh, should be allowed to engage on that, those issues. But a team that can deliver uh, on a few more promises that we made during 2017, uh, it doesn't matter the number. What is crucial is in delivery of those numbers. I belong to that school. I belong to that team that want to deliver on the promises that we made to Kenyans in the coming one and a half years. There are those which have been delivered. There are those we, we are going to deliver in the coming one and a half years. There are those we may not be able to deliver. And of course, because a lot of time has been wasted in a lot of um, issues at side shows, if I may call them. But I want to tell you that uh, you do not need the multitude to deliver. And I can also tell you that uh, to think that the numbers in Jubilee have dwindled, I think, is another illusion. Okay, uh, we'll, we'll hold on on that. I've got more to engage both my guests on immediately after this break. Uh, we have here with us in studio Senator Rungu Kangata, and joining us remotely is Honorable Jeremiah Kioni. We talk about the future of the Jubilee Party and so much more, and I'll be looking at your feedback as well when we return.